Hey, welcome back, guys. I know it's been a little while. You can yell at me in the comments if you want. Um, as you know, life happens and stuff like that. My computer decided to crash on me and took me a couple of days to get it back and up running how it's supposed to, but, you know, there goes life. Um, <laughs> all right, so, as you can see, the truck's coming along. Um, sorry I'm not shooting any videos of me working on this stuff. Um, as you go, guys know, some of the fine details and stuff can really take a long time to do. So for now, um, give you guys kind of a walk around what I've actually done to the truck and what we have left to the actual truck. Um, first thing that we still need to build um, are these side panels. We still need to get them in and where they're supposed to be the easy part is, is these don't have to open um, they're actually mounted permanently to the truck so that's a plus the other thing we still got to do we've got to make the exhaust for this truck um, it comes out runs this way and runs up the back of the cab um, i don't want to do that yet until i actually get the cab fully mounted um, to make sure i get the exhaust where it's supposed to be everything's you know work side to side like it's supposed to um for as of last time um let's start here with the cab I'll pull the hood off um i've got the floor mounted in here and then also i have the seats and the dash are mounted along with the front and rear window um if you guys can tell i've got some pinholes here um I've been working on the canvas top, getting that mounted. Um, what I ended up doing is kind of gluing each corner really, really lightly, taking uh, the sewing needles, heating them up till they're bright red, and stabbing them in there um, through the canvas through there. And then we'll just once it's they're all in there, we'll pull them out one by one and just cut the heads off um, enough to kind of look like uh, dots and stuff. You know the whatever you call those my brains fried um, as for the truck itself <laughs> that will come to me I promise um, as you can see we have a motor that is mounted we have tanks that are mounted um, you guys can see here coming off a copper line running up to the carb running in there we have the coil we have the spark plug wires and we also got the pulley system in there also as you can see we'll flip you this way because it looks kind of cooler we have full coolant lines running front to rear um, there they are I think it turned out really slick I'm really really happy with that um, front suspension and grill done um, as you can see I got the coilovers in um, I've still got one screw or one little bolt to put in here um, but the tops are all mounted wheels are mounted everything like that is mounted um, as for the rear end there she is done um, these are the Cadillac tail lights and then the clear ones I had to make um, in the process doing some touch up here so ignore that um, <clears throat> but yeah anything you see on this truck um, if it's the wiring uh, my fuel lines, my brake lines, you want to know how I made those and stuff like that. Anything you've seen, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to do a tutorial. Um, if you guys want to know how I made these tail lights or, you know, how I do my brake lines, anything. Um, let me know in the comments. If I get enough likes and stuff on that video, uh, I might do a uh, tutorial on how I do that. Um, kind of pick this up a little better. There you can see the copper lines running from tank to tank and then just kind of bends around the sides there. Um, this is, I believe, is a vacuum line that I got to run into there, but that's pretty easy. Um, there is kind of a top view of the suspension. This one I've got to fix. It is sticking out a little too far. I made that piece a little too big, but no problem there. So we'll take a look at the bottom of the truck. Um, as you can see, I'm starting to work on the driveline. It's just a little itty-bitty tiny driveline, so kind of cool. Um, there's the uh, 
front suspension, the bottom side of it. You can see the coolant line to run through the frame that is uh, kind of cool. I still got to paint the starter, but pretty easy. Um, this is a pretty basic truck, but there's been a lot of customization. If you guys watching the video series and stuff know how much work has gone into this truck. Um, the front grille, I promise, isn't sitting on the ground. <clears throat> it may look like it, but here's just a regular toothpick. That's the clearance that I used, is the thickness of that toothpick. So, it's pretty low to the ground, but everything else is there. Um, I've been really, really happy with the way this truck's been turning out. It's just been tedious and time-consuming. Um, the tanks, they really kind of pissed me off. Not the tanks itself, the paint, <laughs> excuse me, that uh, went on there. So, ugh. But yeah, so if you guys have any questions, anything like that, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to try to be kind of more interactive with my channel and stuff. Um, I'm getting really, really close to my view goal. Um, I'd love to hit it by the end of the year. I'm about 400 views short, so there may be a couple extra videos um, before the end of the year to uh, get pumped out to see if I can reach my 10,000 views. Um, before the end of the year would be be epic but why well, guys I have you here um, I want your opinion on something um, a lot of you guys know that I am doing a mini Cooper build that is totally radical um, I found some parts you guys can see it in the background but I'm gonna try to leave a poll in there that says yes or no um, <clears throat> There we go. What do you guys think of the flares? Um, little kind of side vent I'll run into there for the rear brakes. Get this cut off, blend this all together. Um, but what do you guys think? Kind of top view there. But uh, yeah, kind of messing around with it. Um, this isn't the next project that's coming up, but it's getting close. I'm finally getting all the parts I need for this. But let me let me. Uh, uh. yeah let me know what you guys think of uh these wills the will arch or will flares if i could speak today jesus um <laughs> kind of the little body kit i put on the bottom if you guys got any suggestions again throw them down in the comments or throw me a message but yeah but until next time guys i think i'm out of here for the day i've had enough have a good one everyone the dragon speed shop i'm out of here